NASA's ocean exploration stopped after making a surprising discovery. Over the years, NASA delved deeper into the ocean, unraveling a treasure trove of scientific knowledge and encountering strange and wonderful creatures that defy logic and reason. Soon they will show us some of these huge manta rays. Look at this. Have you ever seen something like this? As their investigation progressed, they stumbled upon something that shocked them deeply. A finding so serious, so inexplicable, that it ultimately led them to abandon their mission and retreat from the depths. The goblin shark is truly one of the strangest deep-sea sharks in existence. Its appearance similar to a goblin or monster explains how it got its name. Number 1. Giant Manta Ray Also known as the enormous oceanic manta ray, is the largest ray in the world. These impressive creatures can measure between 4 and 7 meters wide, weighing up to 3,000 kilograms. Their flat body and triangular fins allow them to move elegantly in the depths of the ocean. They have lobes near their mouths that act as smart filters to capture water and food while they swim. To be close to a manta ray is to encounter an ocean giant. Despite their majesty, these creatures remain mysterious and witnessing them in their natural habitat is an unforgettable experience. The surprise of being close to such a great creature is simply magical. Number 2. Goblin Shark These sharks have lived in the deepest part of the ocean for an astonishing 125 million years. Because of their deep habitat, we rarely encounter them, which limits our knowledge about them. Some can grow up to 13 feet in length and have unique features such as a flat nose, nail-like teeth, and pink skin. They are perhaps the most unusual species of shark in existence, as if straight out of our worst nightmares. They live at depths of over 330 feet and are believed to move slowly compared to other sharks in shallower waters. They look for their food on the seabed, feeding on crustaceans, squid, and fish. Their long noses have special electrical sensors that help them detect prey in the dark. They sneak up on you from behind, making quick, deadly attacks with their powerful jaws, leaving little room for escape. Fortunately, goblin sharks live in the deepest parts of the ocean, beyond the reach of human research. If they were in accessible areas, encountering these predators would be a terrifying experience. Number 3. Anomalocaris an ancient creature that sailed the seas long before the dinosaurs, in a time called the Cambrian, about 500 million years ago. Unlike the giant monsters commonly associated with prehistory, the Anomalocaris was surprisingly small, barely a meter long, or even less. Its slender body, with undulating fins and a large fan shape, propelled it with elegance and strength through the water. Armed with dangerous crossed appendages, it pursued its prey tirelessly, its square mouth ready for a lethal bite. In an early underwater hunt, the Anomalocaris, with its sharp stalked eyes, tracked its prey with graceful movements, demonstrating its dominance in the environment and its position at the top of the food chain in an evolving ancient world. Some scientists believe that Anomalocaris could have been the first high-altitude predator in history, a pioneering force in development. Its unique body shape and hunting tactics make it interesting to researchers seeking to understand our planet's distant past. Despite its small size by modern standards, Anomalocaris had a great influence on the ecosystem of its time. Number 4. Imagine finding a fish that seems lifeless, as if it had crossed the door of death. Its dried form resembles a mere shell of its former self, but when water touches it, it comes to life beyond our comprehension. Was he really dead or just in a state of suspension? This occurs in front of us, showing the enigmatic nature of the natural world. The mysterious creature, the sucker mouth catfish or pleco, can withstand long periods without water. These resistant beings can survive up to 20 hours in a state that simulates death, despite their inert appearance characterized by the desiccation and rough texture of their scales. They do not resign themselves to the ocean, but wait patiently for the moment when a gentle hand guides them back to their humid home, reviving their essence and giving life to their eternal existence. It is an astonishing spectacle, 
contemplating the difficulties of natural design and the force of life in its various forms. Number 5. Brittle stars are unique marine creatures that have captured the attention of scientists. With flat bodies and curved arms, they belong to the family of starfish, called echinoderms, with more than 2,000 identified species. They are found in oceans around the world, from shallow waters to depths of more than 11,000 meters. What is distinctive about brittle stars is their peculiar behavior. Unlike starfish, whose arms move together, each arm of a brittle star operates independently, as if they were five separate entities. They can respond to stimuli in their environment by coordinating their actions through a network of nerves in the central disc. In dangerous situations, they have the ability to detach and regenerate their arms, as long as their central body remains unchanged. For example, the red species of brittle star challenges our understanding of vision. Despite not having visible eyes, they can see using skeletal structures, small crystals or lenses on their arms, along with photoreceptor cells that allow them to perceive their surroundings. However, the exact extent of its visual abilities remains a mystery, increasing scientists' interest in this extraordinary and complex creature. Number 6 red coffin fish. This fish, with its dark behavior, is a unique inhabitant of the ocean depths. Its body with rough scales looks like a small vehicle that moves along the bottom of the sea. An interesting fact is its ability to blend into the environment thanks to its red color, which allows it to escape from predators and sneak up on prey. They have a keen sense of smell to detect food from long distances. When they find something appetizing, they approach slowly, moving carefully so as not to alert their prey, and then quickly gobble it up with their large mouths. Another fascinating detail is their reproductive behavior. Unlike many other fish, these red coffins are devoted parents. After laying eggs, the males take care of them until they hatch. With their fins, they fan the eggs to provide them with oxygen and protect them from predators. This parental care is unusual in the underwater world and adds magic to these creatures. Additionally, they help keep the seabed clean by eating dead organisms and debris. Number 7. Imagine a monster so ferocious that even the largest predators in the forest tremble in its presence. Meet the giant otter, the largest otter in the world and one of the deadliest beasts of the Amazon River. Measuring over 6 feet in length, the giant river otter is an expert hunter and dominant predator. Very few adversaries are confident enough to even look into her bloodshot eyes, except, of course, the man. The giant otter can reach up to 7.9 feet, although there are no confirmed records of this length. They are sociable and territorial animals, often forming family groups of up to 20 individuals. Despite their adorable appearance, they have a biting force of 615 psi and feed on fish, snakes, and other river creatures. They can hunt alone or in groups, and have shown aggression toward humans on rare occasions. These otters dominate their habitat, and are only occasionally threatened by alligators. In the Amazon, they represent a powerful and emblematic species. Number 8. In the heart of the Amazon wilderness there is a true terror that demands unwavering respect. It is a predator that cannot be ignored. It is located deep in the forest and its powerful rivers. This formidable alligator represents the gravest threat to those who dare to venture into its domain. Boldly aggressive, the black caiman shows no hesitation in attacking if the tantalizing scent of prey is nearby. But it's not just its hunger that makes it dangerous. Its size is truly imposing, reaching up to 20 feet in length. The black caiman reigns as the largest alligator in these treacherous waters. His voracious appetite knows no limits. It will attack with deadly precision fish, birds, mammals and even unfortunate souls who happen to be too close for comfort. Sadly, this monstrous predator has been known to claim victims, including children, in confirmed terrifying attacks. A master of stealth and ambush, the black caiman prowls the dark waters of the Amazon River and its tributaries, blending perfectly with its surroundings. Under the cover of night, he becomes an invisible specter, 
fading into the dark depths. Their hunting strategy is something that causes nightmares. Waiting patiently, it capitalizes on the perfect moment to launch its attack at lightning speed, trapping its prey in its formidable jaws. To survive in the complex depths of the Amazon, you must heed the warning of the Black Cayman, as it embodies fear in these unforgiving waters. Its imposing presence and relentless ferocity make it the ultimate predator, feared and respected by all who know its reputation. Number 9. The South American Matamata tortoise is probably the most peculiar-looking tortoise you have ever seen. Unlike most turtles, its shell is rough and bumpy. Its physiology also includes a long neck with stripes of skin, bumps and ridges. But perhaps the strangest feature of this species is its large, flat head, which features a wide mouth and a long snorkel-type snout. However, Matamatas have extremely poor eyesight. To compensate for their lack of visibility in the murky waters of the Amazon River, these creatures have specialized sensory organs. The fleshy fins on their head and neck help them camouflage themselves and detect prey movements. Their large ears are highly sensitive to sound. Matamata tortoises can grow up to 1.5 feet and weigh about 38 pounds, about the size of a four-year-old child. They are carnivores that hunt at the bottom of the water sucking up small fish and invertebrates at once thanks to their specialized hunting techniques.